morning from Whistler. Right now I'm staying at the Westin with Dale, who just jumped off screen, and Evan. And we're gonna start off today's video by going on a big adventure with my friends at Whistler Photos Safari. We are gonna go see some bears out in the wild in their natural habitat. So this is like the most Canadian possible vlog. <laughs> Let's uh, get in the car and get this adventure started. I need to get my mask on. Come on. We are just making our very first stop of today and when you do the bear viewing tour with Whistler Photo Safaris, you actually get to do a whole bunch of other stuff including visit a black tusk viewpoint which is where we are right now and then we will also be checking out Alexander Falls which is one of my favorite waterfalls in Whistler. If you subscribe to my Patreon, I have a vlog there from Alexander Falls linked below if you guys are interested. But yeah, we are gonna get back on the road, continue exploring and yeah, just see what there is to see here in the Callahan Valley while looking for some bears. Driving with the windows down, trying just to drown it out. Oh, the silence way too loud. Like a broken record now. Maybe we can work it so out. So while we are touring the Whistler Olympic cool Park, we are actively down. looking for bears and the different things that we look for to actually find the bears are their uh, scat or just like poop and that's gonna help us find a bear. So we haven't seen one yet, but we are very vigilant and we are looking around trying to find us a cute little black bear. And we're actually gonna go up to the top of those jumps now. So I'm gonna flip you around to that. I'm actually really excited <laughs> to see what these things look like from the top because from the bottom, they looked frankly terrifying as do they look on TV when you watch those guys in the Olympics. So we're heading up these stairs we're gonna get the experience. Like, I just like imagine what it would be like if you were an Olympic athlete, you're walking up here and you're about to launch yourself at almost 100 kilometers per hour off of a ski jump. Like, crazy stuff, man. I don't know, this is really cool to me. I'm such a nerd for the Winter Olympics. Like, it's my favorite thing ever. Uh -huh. seeing a bear today but the bears are wild and they're not tagged or anything so you can't guarantee you're gonna see a bear in every tour but even though we didn't see a bear we saw so much incredible stuff on that tour I would do it again in a heartbeat and I do highly recommend that you check out Whistler Photo Safaris I'd link their information below um, our guide Andrea was also just incredible anyhow let's get going to dinner it is a beautiful evening out there and we have some beer and seafood to eat, so let's do it. Before we get going today, I would like to thank my friends at Surfshark for continuing to support this channel. Surfshark is a VPN that protects your sensitive data and online privacy. In addition, if you were like me and you have sort of tapped out your home country's Netflix offerings, Surfshark actually allows you to change your location and you can watch Netflix from any country you like, which means if your favorite movie or TV show is not available in your home country, you are actually able to watch it by changing your location on Surfshark. That is a major life hack that has just like saved me throughout 2020. Also, Black Friday is coming up this week, so if you guys wanna see if you can get some better deals from other locations, you can actually do so through Surfshark. So if you guys want to sign up, make sure you head to surfshark.deals robin and enter promo code robin to get 83% off and four months for free. And if you don't love it as much as I do, which I'm sure it's not gonna happen, but if you don't, they have a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's really no risk. So thank you again to the team at Surfshark for sponsoring today's video. <laughs> to the Barefoot Bistro. So while we wait for our oysters, we have come down to one of my favorite rooms in the Barefoot Bistro. This is the wine cellar. I absolutely love this room. It is so, so beautiful. I've actually been to a couple of parties here. It's really, really nice. And we're gonna do something very special today. We are actually going to be savoring a bottle of champagne. I'm so excited. Admittedly, I don't think I've actually done this myself before. <laughs> 
gonna be my first time, so. Are you gonna show me how to I'm do it? I'm gonna show you how to do it, I'll tell you a great story. <laughs> Champagne savoring is a very old French tradition that started with the officers of Napoleon, the eve before they head off to battle as they're conquering Europe. And John's his best friend and gracious host throws the parties of all parties. And it's at this party in the wee hours of the morning after copies and out to drinking and dancing and <laughs> celebrating that the officers start pulling their sabers out and they start breaking the lips off the ball of champagne. If their ball broke clean, it meant good karma. Go to war, fight, become victorious, but mostly come back home alive. If their ball blew up, that means they better party, enjoy the one, enjoy the night, because it's their last one. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually a lot easier than you think it's gonna be. I thought I would have to like, you know, like whip it a little bit, but it just like came off like it was just born to be sabered. So that was, oh man, that was such a special experience. So big thank you to the team at Barefoot Bistro for letting us do that. And we have just received our appies here. We got a bunch of oysters. We have some butternut squash arancini, which is basically like deep fried balls of butternut squash, rice, and all sorts of goodness. And my mouth is literally watering. So we are gonna dig in and enjoy a gorgeous meal. Room here at the Barefoot Bistro. Are you, you excited? Oh yeah, I never been. <laughs> You've never been? No, I've like looked at it dozens of times, and like, <laughs> every time I come here, I'm like, oh, I should do that. Welcome inside. Woo! How cool is this? <laughs> what do you think? It's cold. Yeah, it's really cold. My but hair, it's like my hair just like froze on my face. Is it really? <laughs> yeah. Woo! Tonight we are gonna taste a bunch of different vodkas. We're Woo! starting off with kettle one. It has like frozen ice around it, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Evan doesn't like strong drinks. I'm not great with dark liquor, but... <laughs> that was incredible, he's like... <laughs> trying to hold back and cover here. woken up to the most beautiful, magical, snowy paradise. I was so excited about the possibility of it snowing last night. I literally couldn't sleep. <laughs> like most of the night I kept opening the windows and like checking the blinds like, has it snowed yet? Has it snowed yet? And at about 4 a.m. sure enough, it started snowing and it has not stopped. And what is so exciting about this to me is that this is the first snow of the year and it's sticking. Like it's actually sticking on the ground. That's it for today's video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up, say hi in the comments, and I will talk to you very soon. Bye. Focus on my face. Come on. Mm. All winter long, you can expect me to be looking like Steve Jobs. It's a vibe. Is it? Wow. Dale, did you miss us? Did you miss us? Ah, my mom. So a bit thing. Bleh. <laughs> <laughs>